Hi, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and run KJAMS for the first time on your Windows computer. So go to Internet Explorer, and from there go to KJAMS.com. Once that loads, scroll down a little bit and you'll see the three different editions of KJAMS you can choose from. I'm going to install KJAMS 2 because it's the most complicated. It has a couple of extra steps that the others don't have. So I'm just going to click the download button, and once I do that, It'll ask me at the bottom of the screen, do you want to run it or do you want to save it? So what we want to do is run. So it'll just take a couple of minutes for the download to complete. Once the download is complete, it'll run a security scan. And at this point, you can just close the browser window. And down here, you'll see a flashing little tile. If you click it, it's going to ask, are you sure you want to run this program? And you can click yes. Now you might get another dialog that says this might not have been installed correctly. You can ignore that. Just close the window if you see it. Now you're at the KGEMS installation wizard. Just click the next button a couple of times. And about halfway through, it'll ask you again, are you really sure you want to install this from this unknown publisher? Actually, it is a known publisher. It's me. So go ahead and click the yes button. and now the application has been installed. You can click the close button. So there are a couple of extra things you need to install first and KGEMS will walk you through each of those. So all you have to do is just launch KGEMS by double clicking. Now the first thing it will tell you is that KGEMS requires QuickTime to be installed. Just click OK on that and you'll be taken to the QuickTime download page. Just uncheck keep me up to date and then click download now. Again, it will ask, do you want to run or save? You can just click Run. And now you can hide, the, you can hide your Internet Explorer again and go ahead through the installation wizard for QuickTime. And you want a typical install. You don't need the desktop shortcuts install. And then click Finish. And then you can click No Thanks on that. So go ahead and double click on the icon again. And you'll notice the first thing it does is it brings up your web browser and it's loaded a page called Bonjour Print Services for Windows. Now, Bonjour does include print services, but it also includes discovery services for other things, for example, the KGEMS web server. So you do want to go ahead and download and install that. And again, it says, do you want to run or save it? And we want to run it, so click Run. And then just click the Next button. And I accept, and Next, and Next, and Install. And there's a security question. Are you sure? Just click Next, Yes. And you can uh, hide your web browser again since we're done with that. And you'll get another security confirmation. Just click Yes. And then click Finish. Then back in KGEMS, it's asking you to install the Python scripting software, so go ahead and install that. That'll automatically download and start to install. You can just put that aside. And then back in KGEMS, a reminder to install Bonjour, which you've already done, so just click OK. You need to enter an email address, and this is so that you can submit crash reports. And then it asks, do you want to install the two music stores? Just go ahead and download both of those. And then back over here in the other installer for Python, go ahead and click the Next button. And then I accept the terms, and Next, and Next, and Install. And now it's installing Python scripting language. And then it asks for another security confirmation. Just click Yes. And then you can uncheck Open User Guide, because you don't care about that, and click Finish. Then back in KGEM, just wait for all of the activities to complete. And then when that's done, you can just click KGEMS one last time, and then run it again. And now everything should be installed correctly. If you get this dialog that says there's an update available for the server resources, you can just click install and then you're done. Um, so keep in mind KGEMS is uh, shareware. Uh, it's free to try out for as long as you want. 
And once you realize that KGEMS is just the best thing in the world, go ahead and purchase it by going to the Help menu and pick Purchase. And that will take you through the Purchase Wizard, and you can use PayPal or any credit card to make your purchase. Thanks for watching.